Welcome back. This article was published in the March 2018 edition of the Right Side newspaper. For today's article, we're going to talk about how being right-handed has had an effect on our language. To start with, we're going to talk about riding shotgun. While traveling out west by way of the stagecoach, people would carry along valuables. Gold, guns, money, and tools were all very important to the settler, the millionaire, or the thief. The stagecoach would frequently have a person who would ride as a guard and has sat next to the driver with the, with the shotgun to protect passengers and cargo. Since most people were right-handed, if a guard was sitting to the left of a driver and tried to raise his gun, the driver would be in the way. If he sat on the right, he'd easily get to his gun without having to take over the reins and shoot at the same time. Because of this, sitting on the right side came to be known as riding shotgun. Next, I want to explain the origin of driving on the right side of a road. A long time ago, people would drive the carriages on the left side of a road for no apparent reason. Then in the 1840s, wagons began to be produced in Conestoga County, Pennsylvania. These wagons, known as Conestoga wagons, were very rough and reliable, became popular as people traveled out west. The Conestoga wagon had a new feature, a brake back on the left side, down low between the wheels. A seat was installed there as well. The brake was placed on the left side so the man controlling the brake, who would be facing the front, could pull the brake with his right hand. The wagon had to be driven on the right side of the road so the operator could easily see oncoming traffic. Due to the Conestoga kind of kind of wagons being very durable and reliable, it became a popular way to get out west. It was due to the wagons heavy use we started to drive on the right side of the road and continue to do so today. Thank you.